Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. In this episode, we have Greg Gutfeld of Fox News going right after AOC because her, the Democrats, and Biden are trying to push the student loan debt forgiveness. Now, as always, folks, if you want to join us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, this comes from our friends over at the Daily Wire, and they say here, Fox News' Greg Gutfeld responded to AOC's enthusiasm for President Biden's student loan debt cancellation plans calling her an entitled sponge, which she is, and we'll get to that in a moment. But as you recall, on the campaign trail, when President Biden was campaigning, he was pledging and promising to his followers, the Democrats, these progressive leftists, these white liberals, that ultimately they're going to get their student loans forgiven. And AOC, Ilhan Omar, all these lefties, Elizabeth Warren, Elizabeth Warren are all pushing for $50,000 plus forgiven. Even Biden's like, whoa, whoa, in, in my unconscious state, I can still understand that that's way too much money. So he's pushing more on the lines of 10,000, which I still don't agree with. I don't agree with student debt forgiveness at all, but that's what he's trying to push here. AOC and others aren't too happy with it, which is why they're trying to get this message out there to others to put pressure on Joe Biden. Well, AOC had been asked how Biden's plan would benefit those who had paid off their student loans. She answered, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Not every program has to be for everybody. People with apartments pay for first-time homeowner benefits. Young people pay for Medicare for our seniors, she patronized. People who take public transit pay for car infrastructure. Well, Greg Gutfeld wasn't having any of it, folks, and he's a comedic. I mean, he is literally a comedian on stage performing, and he's hilarious, folks. Let's see what he had to say about this. And I pay for everything. <laughs> I get nothing. <laughs> Nothing. No, uh, I love how she explains it. They're not meant for you, right? But then you have to ask, okay, then what is this debt forgiveness? Who is it meant for? And when you look at the data, it's upper white middle class liberal women. This ain't welfare, right? These are, these are well-to-do people. It's a bribe for Democrats on the backs of plumbers, truckers, and everyone else who actually does a real job, unlike me. AOC is the symbol of the entitled sponge. She complains about student loans, but she owns a Tesla. And worse, she owns a French bulldog. Thanks to Cat Temp, I know everything about French bulldogs. <laughs> and one yeah, thing I, I know, got, I got a French they are so expensive. They're more expensive than any college tuition. You got to take care of them. They're adorable dogs. But she owns a Tesla and she owns a French bulldog. And she's at, she wants you or your dad, the electrician, to forgive her student loan. That's BS. Turn in the Tesla. Sell the dog. I'll buy it half price. I absolutely love that Gutfeld tells her, turn in the Tesla, sell the dog, I'll buy it at half price. <laughs> Fairly genius, but he's making a point here. He's saying, look, you're wanting to spend your money on all these other things than paying down your debt. So if you want to buy a dog, if you want to buy a brand new Tesla, if you want to pay for the upkeep of all these items, why should I have to pay for your student loan debt when you don't want to pay for it in the first place? So she is a sponge. Not only is she suckling at the government teat, but now she wants to suckle at the teat of the taxpayer even more by having us pay for her student loans because she doesn't want to. She would rather go out and buy a Tesla or a dog or other, other luxury goods. God only knows what she's paying for. Well, check this out. In late 2021, AOC stated on the House floor that it was ridiculous that she needed to pay for 17,000 in student loans. I'm 32 years old now. She said, I have over 17,000 student loan debt and I didn't go to graduate school because I knew that getting another degree would drown me in debt that I would never be able to surpass. This is unacceptable. Mind you, again, the salary is right there. She makes $174,000, folks. My student loan debt was like three times that amount, maybe more. And I was able to pay it off in two years, less than two years, technically, more like a year and a half. And I don't make anywhere near that. Not even close. Folks, I'm on a teacher salary and I could pay off debt that's three times more than what she has left and she can't pay it off. It sounds like a gimmick, folks. It sounds like she doesn't know how to use her money correctly, which is scary because Congress has the keys to the purse, folks. They're the ones that spend our money. And now it makes sense, right? It makes sense why we're trillion, like 30 plus trillion dollars in debt because you got idiots like this that make $174,000 and can't write a check for $17,000 today to pay off that debt sounds like a mismanagement of money. But again, folks, the expectation isn't for her to pay for this. It's not her doing. She didn't go down and, and take out this debt. You did. So you should have to pay for it. You should have to pay for that education that she decided to get as an adult. This stuff's wild, folks, and I don't agree with it at all. I didn't take out that debt. And by the way, where does it stop? 
where does paying off other people's debt stop? Because you have these people that go on and do interviews on the streets like Daily Wire does or Prager you and others. James Klug does it as well. They'll go on the street to say, hey, do you expect me to pay off your credit card? Does that sound good? Credit card forgiveness? And they, oh yeah, it sounds great. And then when you ask them, the person that you're talking to to pay off your credit card, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I don't have money. I, I, I can't do that. I don't have it. So it's always the expectation of somebody else to pay off your luxury items or the things that you want to pay for so that you don't have to pay for it yourself, which is wrong. It's morally wrong. It's despicable. You took out the debt. You should have to handle that debt yourself, not somebody else. So folks, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Do you agree with AOC? Should you have to pay off her debt? Should you have to pay off other people's credit cards? Hell, at one moment in time, maybe you'll have to pay off some people's mortgages if you let Democrats run with this whole debacle of a student loan debt forgiveness. Next, you're gonna have mortgage debt forgiveness. Next thing you're gonna have is a credit card debt forgiveness. I mean, it's gonna be a litany of forgivenesses, which we're gonna have to pay as taxpayers. Mind you, we can't even pay our own damn debt as a nation, let alone each other's debt. So with that being said, as always, folks, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, share this link with your friends and family all over social media. With that being said, I will see you later today here on The Bob Brad Show.